Hello and welcome to Nerds, Weirdos, and Geeks, the podcast where me and some of my friends uh, answer some dumb questions that the internet said. Uh, today, I am joined here with Lily Lott. Sup? And Logan Brinker. Sup? Um, you two, the, the way I'm like friends with you is mostly through D&D. We play Dungeons and Dragons. Logan is our DM. He's amazing at it. Um, I try to be. <laughs> I try to be. Uh, okay, so basically, because you, you two have never been on the podcast before how this works is i'm gonna i'm gonna ask some questions from the internet you guys are gonna answer uh and we're just gonna talk and start talking you know as you do um Mm -hmm. but before we do i have one question that i always have to ask everybody when it's their first time or if they're returning after a while which is do you think that you a or you are a nerd a weirdo or a geek and you can choose more than one i am all three and i believe that everybody including or at least all of my friends are one of them so, Logan? Uh, I'm a weirdo and a geek because nerds usually are smart, and I can tell you this right now, <laughs> there is no way with my, with my high school, school almost 3.0 average, barely there. <laughs> Better I, than mine. I'm no <laughs> nerd. I am no nerd. 3.0? Dude, I got like a 2.2. I got a 1.2. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> Uh, Lily? Um, not a nerd. Um, Clearly. Probably a a geek and a weirdo, because I've been told I've been both in my entire life. (laughs) See, the way that that I picture it, uh, and I think I talked about this a a lot in the last episode, but I'm just going to go over it briefly. The way I think of it in my mind is a nerd is somebody who is obsessed with, uh, like, real-world practical knowledge. A geek is somebody who, who is obsessed with pop culture and those types of things, and a weirdo is somebody who is obsessed with something that maybe not a lot of other people would be, such as Dungeons and Dragons, or my friend uh, Sam is obsessed with cars, so he's a weirdo. Uh, <laughs> which is why everybody is a The bloodness, mm-hmm. so he's a weirdo. No, yeah, well, he's, <laughs> a, he's been on the podcast, he said that himself, <laughs> like three times. Um, okay, now we got that, that out of the way, Obvi- and obviously, I am all three... Right? That's the whole point of the podcast. That's I get that. why it exists. Um, okay. Our first question is from... Most of these are going to be from Reddit. We do have one from Instagram. Uh, but most of them are from Reddit. Um, one. <laughs> why... <laughs> can't read it without laughing. Why is there no grape ice cream? Uh... <laughs> I think grape flavored pixie sticks is where we stop. <laughs> Honestly, because if you were to try to put a grape inside ice cream, no, but would, like, okay, it would, I I think it would, what would happen is is that because I've I've seen what happens when you freeze grapes to a certain certain temperature, at some point they only frost over like you want them, but at right. that point they will start to they'll start to like expand from the juices inside being just... frozen, <laughs> yeah, and they explode. Thank and you. dude, I want exploding ice cream. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Not when it's not when it's shattering like literal shards in your mouth. Fair enough. Um, okay, but like you've had crepe. You've okay, but wait, crepe? Ma- but wouldn't masochists enjoy that ice cream? <laughs> yeah, uh, you've had grape soda. Yeah, the flavoring. Yeah. yeah. Now, so maybe not like cookie dough. Maybe not. It's not like cookie dough ice cream where it has little cookie dough chunks in it, but instead it's just flavored to taste like grape but not like actual grapes more like grape soda maybe maybe there's something with the flavoring that just doesn't work with the ice cream mix because it is like cream milk I, a yeah, lot of things maybe i don't know i feel like there should be because is there i'm gonna google it yeah google it hold on <laughs> is there anywhere in the world that grape ice cream is a thing if so i want to go there and try it because it sounds delicious is grape ice cream a thing <laughs> <laughs> you, Siri. how dare you talk to my ex-wife like that <laughs> there isn't grape ice cream there isn't there isn't anywhere yeah and well they, let's make it <laughs> well he said there's a why so that's what we're on. doing um why later later we'll do it later i i will make grape ice cream when i'm like 30 <laughs> i'm gonna do it i bet i bet it would taste good i At bet least. i bet you would do well with how you already 
The you texture are... would be off and not so creamy. That's that's what Google says. That's why it's not a thing. I don't care about the texture. But some people do. That's a big Tastes thing. Tastes good. <laughs> like, that's actually a reason why some people are picky isn't sometimes the taste. It's the fact that they can't get the, that texture. Yeah, I know it's the texture. The, I, I used to be a really picky eater, too. I know what texture's all about. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my pride. I look at something and say no, and then someone it's a else weird will way of it saying it. Just like eat it. So, uh, all right, our next question, uh, and this is also don't look. I want to. <laughs> no, you'll you'll know in a, in a second. Our next question is, um, uh, why do ideas? Uh, sorry, why do yeah? Why do ideas expire? I'm still the same person. Um, I... you can look different, but like, if you're an adult, okay. Once you reach, like, I want to say maybe, like, mm, 23, 22, 23, early 20s, once you reach that point, do you start to look different anymore? I don't think so. So, like... I think a little bit. Because it depends you, you for... Age. Not a whole lot. It depends on people, and it depends on certain things. Like, there's people with certain conditions where either they'll age rapidly or skin color will change. Maybe they'll get wrinkled. Yeah, but that's such a... <laughs> Michael that's Jackson. Such a, that's such a minuscule <laughs> amount of people that, like... Is it mandatory? I think I think it's more of just to keep tags on people. IDs are quite literal tags for humans, and to get them renewed is to always have people come in and say, okay, they look like this, so they write notes down, like, this is what they look like, in case of either A, a missing person's case, if you go missing, to kind of help get an idea of what you uh, look like. Yeah. Because, I mean, you're probably the, a different height than just, when you were, like, 16. Yeah, but I mean, like... If you renew it at 24, you're not going to get much taller, and you're yeah. not going to look much different from 24 to, what, like, 30. So, maybe... I, I, I think it's more of just the idea of that tag. It's just that you need a constant... You need to have... A, they need to have a constant surveillance of what you tabs look like. on you. <laughs> Precisely. They just need to keep The tabs government on you. wants to make sure you're safe. Put quotations around that. Safe. Uh... Yeah... I, that makes sense in my mind. I, I can see both sides of the argument, but, like... It is pretty stupid, though. I just like the thought of, like, you walk into the DMV and you're like, Hey, your eyes aren't blue anymore. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, how'd you know my eyes didn't change color? Also, why do you know that? You're just like, they used to be brown. Well, changed them. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get LASIK surgery to change my eye color permanently. Is that a thing you can do? Well, you can also do contacts mm. that change your eye color. Yeah, yeah, but that's not permanent. That's yeah, but just like temporary. You can like still wear them all the time if you really wanted. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you can still wear them all the time if you really wanted. Yeah. Like, but I'm going to get a face it's patch still not, It's not your true eye color. Though. Yeah, but you'd have to... Well, if we're talking about contacts, you'd always have to remove them at least when you go to bed and when you wake up. Or put them back in when you wake up. No, I'll so sleep with my contacts in. <laughs> it actually, especially especially with eye color changing ones, that's a very dangerous game. Normal contacts is always pretty bad. Someone who went from contacts to glasses, sleeping inside with sleeping with your contacts in. What a loser! You don't have perfect vision. <laughs> oh, yeah, so the color lines. <laughs> he puts his color lines glasses on. I'm the only one with okay vision. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, I lose my phone when it's sitting right next to me. That's not vision, though. That's just you having a bad... Attention. Vision. Depth. De <laughs> well, depth perception. No. What's it called? Attention. A day ADHD. A day ADHD. A day ADHD. Okay. I want to make a song now. Our next question, uh, and this one does come from its Instagram. This is from uh, Michaela Doll. Ooh, sweet. She says, uh, what is the best life advice? Not your best life advice. What is the best life advice? <laughs> Objectively the best life advice. Okay. No, I got this. The three pillars. Of Stop oh. eating when you get hurt. <laughs> the, three, the three best life advice pillars, right? You need one for mental, physical, and... and uh, Emo emotional? Yeah, I was going to say social, but yeah, emotional is the same. It's the same thing. Uh, one for each of those. What's the one for physical? Uh, physical life advice. Eat. Okay. <laughs> eat food. <laughs> eat uh, a good amount of food. Eat a nutritious and balanced diet. Meal. Meal. Not meal. <laughs> not just one meal. Diet. It's a whole thing. Why? It works for me. 
I eat like no, a meal. No, don't. <laughs> I eat a meal a day. Breakfast, psh, screw it. <laughs> Pretty much. My only meal is at midnight every day. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat for the entire day. You get home, and you're like, huh, it's like 1 a.m. Time to make mac and cheese. <laughs> you don't need to describe my work life. I... <laughs> You work at a food place, right? I go home at 12. Yeah, but you work at a food place. Yes. Can't, don't you get like... No. Not, no? No. It all sells out. I don't that's, get any other food. That's stupid. There should be like a thing. Because like I worked at McDonald's and, and we got... A, yeah, that's McDonald's. You can just pull it out whenever you want. This is barbecue where they cook it in the back all that's night. That's true. So when it's gone, it's gone. I was going to say like you should get some kind of free food for working there. No. That's what I got. The only thing we get is literally just free soda all day and it hurts. That's not good. No, it's <laughs> not. All. It hurts. Uh, working at McDonald's is what made me no longer want to eat McDonald's because I would have it, like, every day after I got off my shift, I'd get, like, the same thing every single day, and eventually I was just like, I don't want to eat this anymore. I didn't eat McDonald's <laughs> for, like, a whole six months after that because <laughs> I was like, I don't I'm wanna, done. I don't want to become part of the social norm. Yeah, no, I quit. When I quit my job there, I was like, I'm not going to eat McDonald's ever again. And now I just barely had it on my way here. <laughs> 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 so that went out the window. <laughs> um, okay, so that's the health one. Physical. That's the physical one. Um, mental. Wait, go, what? don't, just go to a therapist, man. <laughs> like, I mean, I would say stop wait. being sad, but that's not how that works. Go to a therapist. But and what if you don't have the money? Alcohol is cheaper. Actually, no. Alcohol no, solves no, no, nothing. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, alcohol is actually not cheaper. Yes, it might look cheaper, but once you start consuming you know I mean? okay. it at a rapid here's the pace, thing. that but what number if it's starts not to rapid? Here's, here's what I have to say to you about that. If you... <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, if you can't afford a regular therapist, instead, what you need to do is, um, there's a lot of apps. <laughs> I didn't, I know this <laughs> for Close reasons. Your phone. I didn't, it's not personal. I don't. It's okay. Just continue. I don't get offended easily. No, I'm saying there's a lot of apps that like have, um, I was, I was going to say professional, semi-professional therapists. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do not use these apps, which there's nothing you. wrong with going to therapy. I'm just saying I don't, I should <laughs> talk about this last time. Well, another thing you could do is that there are med students who are training to be therapists. They yes, that too. Schools. However, they cannot, they cannot necessarily officially charge you the full amount. However, they can charge you a certain amount so uh, they can help like you, about so. actually a rather cheap amount even if you're living off uh a little more than minimum wage J okay <laughs> and if you can't afford even that then uh get a really good friend and just talk to them on the phone for like five hours I at midnight plenty of those. and if you don't have you're any if you don't have any friends then oops <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that, that probably means either you need to go out and make some, or you need to see if you, what is wrong. Or you, come in contact no, no, no. with Noah. He'll call you, and you can just talk. It's fine. No, yeah, I swear. Any of you, I don't care who you are. If you live in Germany and you're having a bad time, you don't have any friends to talk to, call me up. I, I, a whole Are you gonna, like, drop your Discord or what? Yeah, no, I'll put my Discord <laughs> on. If you can, if you go to my, uh, my YouTube page, you can find my Discord. Add me on Discord. I'll talk to Noah. The I'll talk to you. The, if you need help. He is the free therapist that is okay at it. The and I will the be therapist about all your problems. Sorry. Unprofessional therapist. <laughs> I'm therapist right now. Uh... <laughs> No, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I, I genuinely will, will help anybody who needs it. I, I, I can understand that. I hate... I have been there before. It's not fun. Yeah, it's not. I'm still there. <laughs> Are you okay? No. <laughs> I don't Number three. <laughs> social, <laughs> social slash emotional health. Okay. Are you okay? No. <laughs> Moving on. Um, okay. Uh, social. Social health. Okay. This is how you do it. If you live in a, a big city, I'll, I'll, I'm doing one for big city and one for rural. If you live in the big city, um, there's a lot... Strip club. No. <laughs> there's a lot of, like, like I guess... Like, meet cafes. And, meet and greet is the best. Yeah, cafes are good. If you go to a cafe, like, go to a cafe. If you see somebody sitting, like, alone, just, Night like... Club. Just, like, walk up to them and be like, hey, can I sit here? And then, like, uh, and then if they say yes, then you guys can get to chat in it and you'll become friends. And it's awesome. 
Uh, but if you have social anxiety, good luck. If you have social anxiety, call me up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to see his face. You can still talk. Yep, just the voice. And you're already listening to my voice, but now I'll be replying to what you're saying instead of what the, the internet, internet is saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... Go to a cafe, make some friends. Do that. Okay, this is every once a week. Just go to a cafe, like once a week. Make one new friend once a week until you have like a good like friend group, good like four four or five friends friend group that you can do fun stuff with, and that's how you have a good social. Have, or like, hear me life. out. If you're also still going to school, just talk to people. Yeah, if you're if, if, if you're you, in school, just say yeah. say words to people. And you might think people might not like you, but if you genuinely do try and have a conversation with them, it's gonna make their day. It is. Hi, Noah. Hi. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? I don't know, because that's basically what happens. <laughs> Even if you don't think they'll like you, I didn't think you were gonna like me. I thought you hated me, so I never Wait, said what? anything to you. I don't know. I, I just, I thought you didn't like me, so well, I never, I it's just that anxiety. Of an yet. <laughs> no, I am just very... You know, like, th- three freshmen this year. Do you hate me? I don't even know you. <laughs> I'm very insecure. <laughs> hey, welcome to the club, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're um, all in the club. Don't worry. The club. Of insecurity. Nerds, weirdos, and geeks. That's what we're all about. <laughs> Insecurities. A.K.A. everybody on planet Earth. Yes. <laughs> Um, no, I did like you. You were fun. Really? Yeah. I didn't think so. Remember, I had a crush on you in seventh grade. I told you this. Don't look at me. I, I moved here like less than when three did we years talk? ago. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Forgot we talked about that. Yeah. You liked me. Yeah, I did. But you were kind of dense. I know. I s- <laughs> you still like I me? I would only sing around you, dude. No, I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> Remember, like, we were in the middle of Mrs. Price's, and I'd always sing right next to you. Oh, yeah. Welcome to, oh, my gosh, those were so many signs. I didn't see it. And I would only This is what I was talking about in episode seven. Guys are stupid. (laughs) They are. You need to be more clear. And I'd only giggle at your jokes. Females. I voted for you when it came to the magic show. (laughs) Females, you need to understand this. Guys can We're and dumb. will be thick when it comes to you be hitting thick. on them. We do not understand the idea of I girls kinda hitting I kind of found that us. out with this person That's over what, here. What? I found out that you guys are dense thanks to Noah. So. Yeah. No, okay. Guys, we are very dumb. Like, you gotta be explicit and clear about whatever you Hey, uh, Noah, wanna go on a date? Yeah, like, you have to phrase it like really? that. Really? <laughs> Maybe, do you want to? Uh, I'm open, dude. Remember, I broke up with the sh- dude I was dating. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sometime. Okay. Um, okay. I welcome have 16 to, well, in two weeks. Welcome to Nerds, Weirdos, and Geeks, the only show where you will find two geeks True love. Each other out in the middle days. of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, our next question is not a question. I'm going to come back to the if this if you two end up getting married by some odd coincidence. <laughs> some I'm going to come back to this and you're going to say I told you so. You didn't. Okay, for sure. Uh, our next question is not a question, but instead a segment. This segment is something I like to call mini rant, uh, which is our first returning segment. Oh, Lily. Oh, no. What's something that just gets you angry? <laughs> okay, so liars, right? Oh, yes. Okay. This is uh, a good one. So this goes, go. this goes back to my ex, and um, last day of school, we were cleaning out the prop closet, and there were these baseball bats. There was a really big, thick metal baseball bat. I liked it. It was red and shiny. Yeah. So I put it in his car. Reminds thinking... me of Harley Quinn. It looked like that, yeah. Yeah. But okay. So I put it in his car, thinking he won't touch it, he'll understand it's mine. Because I told him, it's mine, please don't touch it. And then we went back to cleaning, and we found a tiny yellow plastic baseball bat. And we gave it to Logan's <laughs> little sister, because I was like, dude, you can have it, I don't care. So we put it in the back of his car again, and I told him, baseball bat's in the back. Don't touch. We'll get it by the end of the day. Little sister? Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> you know her. But, so, um... I used to like her. I used to be in a relationship with <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> But so, um, we kept him there, Just we, went, we went about our day, and then I was like, maybe we should grab the baseball bats, I feel like they're missing. So I went in there, I looked, and I'm like, not there, car was locked, so I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna break into a car, because that's <laughs> not a good thing. So I go back to class, and Elena comes up to me and says, the baseball bats are gone. And I was like, fuck! 
So... <laughs> Gotta put the explicit rating on this one, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, I have no filter. Time to not be monetized. <laughs> I never was in the first place. But I'm sorry. But, no, it's um, fine. I still make money from the other... If you, if you listen to this on Sp on Spotify, I'll still make money from it. Sweet. But, so, um, I kind of had Just a small mental breakdown. Rating. And it made me very pissed off because I realized the only person that could have taken out of the car was my ex. So, I got very pissed off and I knew exactly what class he was in. So, I literally kicked down the door and yelled his name and he got very terrified. Fun fact, you're the second person to swear on my podcast. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> Not the first. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> But, so I was really pissed off, and my lip curls when I'm very pissed off, so my lip was curling for, like, half the day. That was fun. Ooh. And, um, does I was that, like... Does that hurt, like, at all? No, it doesn't. It's just annoying, because it tickles after so many minutes, <laughs> <laughs> and it won't stop. Okay. But, uh -huh. um, so, I just asked him, do you know what happened to the baseball bats? And he looked at me, you know, like a liar, and said no. <laughs> and I hated it, because I knew something was off, but I kind of just went with it can so I, I go to class and yeah can i just say for the record i unless i'm forgetting something i do not believe that i have ever lied to you in my life oh sweet Best i like friends. you <laughs> <laughs> but um so anyway like i just went to my class let him be i don't lie a lot you really don't i can't but when that. i do I'm i good can't at necessarily <laughs> say that i've malicious maliciously lied to you I've, I can't say the same for D, like for D and D. I've never, I don't lie much, but when I do, I'm good at it. <laughs> good for you. But so I kind of just left him alone for the day. And it's also never to hurt somebody. And I wouldn't lie to hurt anybody. I found out that the son of a bitch gave the bats away to a couple of freshmen because they asked about them, and I told them the bats are mine. Don't touch. So the next question. <laughs> <laughs> It's from Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> and so I kind of almost broke up with him, but I said I'd give him another shot, and here we are, breaking up. It's fine. No, you've been broken up for how long now? Two months. Yeah. Wow. That... How did I not know about this? Remember, there was the day I showed up at your 4th of July party, and I was like, bro, I just broke up. Oh, yeah, you did say that. <laughs> I have a bad memory. Um, okay, our next question is from Reddit. And this question is <clears throat> ooh, this is a fun one our only not safe for work question <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yay no. from reddit uh there's a there's a couple paragraphs so, uh, so i'm gonna read the whole thing i haven't read most of it i just read the question i didn't read the backstory sure. for it um <clears throat> is it normal to find sex and sexual things disgusting uh at school and around puberty <laughs> fellow students and friends usually just talk about se sexual desires and so many aspects of it in relationships exclusively <clears throat> to, <laughs> to this day people i know think the same i'm not sure how girls think about this <laughs> oh you're a dude <laughs> okay um that's weird i thought it was a guy the second you said it uh while i only think i of... can actually answer this no no, no i'm sure. hold on while I only think of platonic aspects of relationships exclusively, I value a warm cuddle and hug more than sex ever will. Uh, friends seem surprised about the way I think almost painting me as weird. I kind of agree with this guy. Like, so with the guy, so I'd, I'd rather like, hug somebody than have yeah. sex with him. Come here, Lily. Like, okay. Like, <laughs> like my, my thinking is, is that, that all that... Okay, now the second one. We gotta see which one's better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, is for for that question, I honest believe it or not, there are a lot of guys. I'm who, so glad my dad doesn't listen to this one. <laughs> <laughs> who, would, who would admit they would rather have a hug and just be loved I just, than have than have sex? Because believe it or not, I prefer us guys, being loved than lusted. Yeah, Thank that's, you. that's the idea. Is that that the only reason we, <laughs> can see a lot of us guys me. go for the lust is because. Girls have shown us they want lust, not love. No, no, <laughs> it's don't. not all cases. Yeah. Lily, Lily is one of them, not all those cases. But in a lot of cases, I mean, you see, you see girls who like, oh, I want a, a bad boy. They have, <laughs> they have a bad boy, and then all of a sudden they hate all men because all men are bad boys. This is what you wanted. If if you want good, then tell us that, all and men we will do are that. Dogs, except Jeffrey. Jeffrey's cool. <laughs> Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Hey. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I, I don't think that that's necessary. I don't think it's necessarily a bad way to look at it. I do think there is a better way to look at it. It's like fruit. 
You gotta like you don't want you Where's don't want to. Sh- it's like strawberries. It <laughs> <laughs> Sex is like strawberries. You don't want it when it's green. You want it when it's nice, plump, and red and ready. <laughs> Go keep going. You two are awful, by the way. Keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry. You want to make sure that when you do have it, you have it with someone you love and care for. <laughs> And this, uh, uh, this is a segment I'd like to call Bad Analogies with Logan Drinker. <laughs> okay, okay, no, I, I, I'll give you a better analogy. Loading screen. You don't do things the second the loading bar is right there. You wait till it's done loading. Like a relationship. Once it's 100% good, then you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Better analogy yeah, but than a plump star. Real quick, real quick. How often does it ever get to 100%? I've gotten, like, I've gotten pretty close. Yeah, you've gotten pretty close. I've gotten pretty close a couple of times, and then it didn't. <laughs> then they weren't the right person. I feel like, I feel like 100% is when both of you are ready to be married and live happily yeah. ever after. Like, some people are like, oh, I think it's at 100%, when really it's more like at 55%. I That's learned why... that from last relationship. That's <laughs> <laughs> so why, why, honestly, taking things a little slow is oh my the gosh. best way to do it. That analogy works actually really well, because yeah. then, once that relationship drops off, as soon as it does, that loading bar no longer exists. Yeah. And the next one, you don't start a loading bar at 50%. You yeah. have to start from the beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm, Which is so difficult, though, sometimes. Like, if, you just, if you've just if you just gotten out of a relationship, that's why you, you are already far away. That long. is what you love life is like. That's why yeah, I know it sucks. I've experienced that's it before. That's why you, actually <laughs> you don't go into a relationship not long after you've been in a relationship. You can't jump to that 50% meter. You have to start all the way from the bottom. I've the made that mistake. It's going, <laughs> it's going to take some time, and it's probably going to hurt for a while before you're even ready to get to start back down at zero, because that 50% has to load all the way back to get ready for the new progress. Listen made. to Logan, guys. He's been through plenty of relationships. <laughs> yes. Except I've don't through... listen to the analogy he just gave, too. That, to that was weird. Through three, four, three, one. Four. I've been through one. Four official ones, 12 ones that could have been. <laughs> What? <laughs> I, I mean, four, you are the oldest one here, but still. Four official relationships, 12 ones that could have been. You're still in high school. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Now I want to think of the ones that could have been. One. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think of the ones that could have been. <laughs> yeah, no. One that did actually happen. Oh, this is an audio medium. They couldn't see that. Yeah, but one that did happen, one that still can happen, and then... One that almost happened, but had... a senior was a bitch. <gasps> it's true, I dude. said bad word. Yeah, it is. You said a bad word on my podcast. <laughs> I said two already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I... Yeah, don't look at the question. I want to look. No, <laughs> we're getting to it. Next question. Uh, this one is, so to answer the question, is it normal to find sex and sexual things disgusting? Yes, actually. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's very, it is very normal. That is totally normal. So random dude on the internet that's probably not listening to this, the statistics of him, the statistic probability that he is listening to this is so low. But if he is, what if the hello, same random person? Yeah, random where, person on Reddit. It's nice, what's his nice name? To meet you. Uh, sad hero, all caps with two A's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm hi, sorry. sad hero. If, if you're, you're here... listening, there's your question answered. That was yeah. from a day ago. So. Oh, sick. As of when we were doing this. Um. Okay. Next question. Uh, <clears throat> what can a sober person get at a bar? Uh. Water. <laughs> <laughs> You stole my joke. Uh, okay, no, no, no. I somewhat recently quit drinking alcohol right before COVID. Uh, I have a work function. Wait, yeah, I have a work function at the, at a bar this week. Freaking, what did you do? <laughs> I have a work function at a bar this weekend for the first time since being dry. And <laughs> what? <laughs> dry is a term for someone who hasn't been drinking in a while. It's not necessarily a drinking problem, but they haven't watered their hole in a good while. Thank you. Uh, and I'm not sure what to order without looking strange. The complicating thing is I don't drink soda either. Pretty much the only thing I drink is water and coffee, which would be an, which would be odd in a social environment. I was thinking of just asking for a seltzer or a club soda with lime, but I predict I would be served Sprite or 7-Up instead. 
any other ways I could approach this. Before reading the whole question, I was going to say, <laughs> go up to the bar and say, can I get a rum and coke, hold the rum? <laughs> but you don't drink soda, so that's not how that works. Honestly, Water. Honestly, yeah, but, I, but like, I have an understanding that... If you're the only person at a work thing drinking water while everybody else is drinking alcohol. Cut a lime in half and put it over the edge of the glass. No, I was about to say, there's <laughs> plenty, there are plenty, there are actually, the, you're Can not I have a wrong. whole lemon, please? <laughs> how, many, how many alcoholic drinks have, like, a cherry, have an orange peel? That, have, yeah. The, like, if, at, a, at a bar, I'm of, almost positive yeah. there would be something, there'd be something along the lines of that. If there's just a bunch of fruit, ask for a bunch of fruit. Ask for fruit, Just put sugar, it like, and then put it in, mix it up, and then boom. You have yourself a fruit, a fruity drink. A fruity this you literally is, also just get lemon water. Like, it tastes different than water, but just put a lemon in there and it looks fine. If you really wanted, you could drink Slagathor. It uh, looks like, that sounds like Thor, but he is a drag queen. I don't know why. Slagathor is a drink that me and a group of friends made up while we were on a, we were on a cruise ship. This was a group of friends that I met on a cruise ship. Uh, we were playing Truth or Dare. My friend gets, uh, he's, he, he was like, truth or dare? And the guy says, dare. So he goes, hold on. Um, leaves for like five minutes <laughs> and comes back with a cup. <laughs> and oh, that's, no. that's it. And I was like, what is in that? And he goes, okay. Uh, or the dude drank it. And he was like, bleh, bleh, it's disgusting. And I was like, can you show me how to make that? And he goes, yeah, sure. So I went with him. This is what it was. He got a cup. Four packets of Swiss Miss hot, ch- hot cocoa. You put that in first. Then, um, after that, you Taking put... Taking notes. <laughs> uh, and then three, cu- three of the little packets of creamer. Um, two sugar packets. Uh, four Lipton tea, tea bags. Put it in. And then you fill it. Uh, uh, halfway with hot water, halfway with hot milk, and then you just mix it around, soak the tea bags a little bit, take them out. There's your drink. <laughs> I want to try it. It is like, terrible. I want to try. Oh, it. I forgot the cinnamon. There's a little bit of cinnamon in it. I want to try it even more. It is yeah. so bad, but yeah. <laughs> I want to try it. So is he was like, like, "Here, drink a this." A slug of thorns, because when you drink it, yeah, he, he was. He was like. He was like, uh, I dare you to drink any, this. And he goes, what is it? He goes, Slagathor. I was like, <laughs> what? It's <laughs> like, what kind of name is that? I, uh, <laughs> uh, so I was, I was just like, I kind of want to drink it, but I didn't because it had tea in it and religious preferences. Um, I don't drink tea. But, yeah, that's basically what that was. I'm willing to try it and then not like cause I've never been a big tea fan myself but I grew up in the south and I had a bunch of I drank sweet tea so, so yeah while you're at a bar if when everybody else is getting alcohol tell go up to the bartender and say yo can I get a slagathor hold the that earth. might actually be an option too just to get um, can I get a slagathor no, on the rocks <laughs> no no sweet tea you can also get sweet tea yeah sweet tea is good uh, lemonade lemonade oh you know, yeah you could get lemonade you I'm get a lemonade. positive that they would be able because because that. that's not soda it doesn't have any alcohol at least it shouldn't uh, unless you ask for it yeah unless you ask for it and it's not just water. It's still, like, a different drink. So Lemon juice with extra sugar. And honestly, lemonade would work. And honestly, I wouldn't necessarily be bothered by the social setting. You can simply say, I've been, I have been good and I have been drinking for quite some time. Uh, like, you, can also, you can also get a virgin whatever. Yeah. That's right? true. A, like, vir- a virgin, virgin a martini, a virgin... Virgin everything. <laughs> can I get a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> right here. No. <laughs> I mean, yes, but... <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, no, go up to the bar. Is a pina colada? Is Virgin Mary here? You, you can have a Virgin pina colada because there's I know. a pina. I was gonna the say the pina colada mix is actually actually non-alcoholic. I know. I couldn't remember if uh, if a pina colada was. And actually, it's really good with Sprite. A Sprite What's pina colada. What's the Shirley Temple? Really My mom said get a Virgin Shirley Temple, and I was like Shirley Temple. That's not. My cousin did that once. Shirley Temple isn't. Alcoholic. It can be. Yeah, but it usually isn't. On but it its can't, own. No, but it can be. And well, yeah, my I know cousin accidentally be. said, "Make it not virgin," because not virgin. Virgin, yeah, because um he was stupid and 
he got the alcoholic Shirley Temple without knowing, and my uncle came up and drank it instead of my cousin. So my uncle got drunk and was like, what? what? And it was really interesting. Uh, okay, this next question is not a question, because it's a segment. This segment is something I like to call um, show host trivia. Oh, um, okay, this should be interesting. I'm going to ask you a question, and then I want both of your guys' answers, and if you get it right, you'll get a point. Um, and unless it is another, if it's a certain question uh, specific to whatever, then whoever's closer will get a point. Uh, but the game, I'm going to ask you questions about myself, and you have to ans answer what you think is correct. Okay. okay. Um, are we going to get multiple choice, or this is our own answer? This is just straight up your own answer. Oh, okay. boy. <laughs> uh, and the winner gets a uh, jar of dirt. <laughs> I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. I'm glad somebody got that, because I said that last time when we were doing the, the Year of the Game Awards. Are you kidding? One. I said the, the winner Caribbean gets a jar of dirt, and Ma Michaela and Carter both just looked at me and was like, What? <laughs> Like, um, like you've never seen Pirates of the Caribbean, you poor, you poor souls. I've got a Hulk. I've got an army. I'm gonna die. Good job, So I have crippling depression. A good, a good amount of these questions are uh, questions that I've gotten from searching good first date questions. And oh. so. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're practicing for that date I just asked you on. Yes. Now you don't have to ask me these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, both of you can drive. Are you gonna just drive and meet there, or one of you gonna pick each other up? I'll pick her up. I don't up. know, but I gotta, I gotta wait till I'm sixteen too, and that's in two weeks. Okay, oh, so shit. two weeks from now. I gotta get you a present. Okay, first of all, super easy. What is my favorite color? Green. You're colorblind. You don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> If you can tell me the specific <laughs> shade of green, you get an extra point. Uh, it's forest it's, green. No, it's the it's is it it's darker than grass. No, lighter than grass. Forest <laughs> <laughs> lighter than grass green, my favorite. I don't know what it's called. I'm it's not lighter artist. than grass. <laughs> That's technically can be any. My favorite color is piss blue. <laughs> <laughs> Your piss is blue? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Neither of you got that. It is lime. Oh, okay. I will not accept lighter than grass. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, okay. Qu uh, question two. What is my favorite animal? I will accept two answers. There are two answers I will accept. Cat. Dog. <laughs> Giraffe. <laughs> you want a second guess? She got a second guess. You want a second um... guess? A dragon? No, it is a killer whale, aka okay, an orca. The other answer I would have accepted was narwhal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Next question. Who is my best friend? There are three correct answers. Michaela. I was going to say that. You have to choose a different one. Ha! <laughs> I took, know. Took too long to um, answer. <laughs> but Michaela is correct. That is one of my Sam? best friends. I'll take it. <laughs> not his full name, but yeah. It's Samuel. 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 It's not Samuel, it's Samuel. Samuel. It's spelled with an A. Carter. Carter is not one of them. Okay. I don't know. Nate Rumsey is the third one. Uh, next. What is my favorite video game? There is... Skyrim. Sky... <laughs> <laughs> Call of Duty. One of them is Skyrim, <laughs> so Lily gets the point. I'm at three. Call now. of Duty is not one of my favorite video games. Darn. Suck it. Which other ones were in there? Uh, Minecraft I would have accepted. Mm -hmm. I also would have accepted um, Hollow Knight is a good one. Uh -huh. uh, the Henry Stigman collection. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. What is my music taste? What kind of music do I like? You what like rock. What genre of music do I like? You like rock. 
or a two, early 2000s rock. This is very specific. Country? Ro- I, I, lo- I love rock. <laughs> country? Um, trick question. It's everything except for country. <laughs> <laughs> and because of that reason... I'm going to take away one of your points, Lily. I'm still in the lead. You guessed the one thing that I think we're tied, because I mean, I still guessed. Yeah, Rock is one of them, so, yeah. Fight me. (laughs) Okay, next question. When is my birthday? Oh, fuck, I knew it. It's gone now. (laughs) (laughs) I knew this was going to be one of them. Um, Dude, it's... Is it? No, I can't ask a question, can I? Hmm. You can. I might not answer it. No, fair enough. <laughs> uh, is it in the season of fall? I'll take your silence. And I'm not <laughs> to answer. Uh, screw it. It's sometime in October. October thirteenth. It's seriously in my brain. It's right there. I can't freaking get it out. I don't know. I'm just going to say sometime in December. (laughs) (laughs) That means Lily is closer, so she gets the point. Okay. I am not going to say what it is, because the next question is, what is my zodiac sign? Does it look like I do what zodiac sign (laughs) does? Just choose Uh, one. Cancer. Uh, no, I am a Pisces. I was Dang. born March 18th. Damn it! No! <laughs> I knew it felt familiar. Uh, okay. That's so close to my dad's birthday. Wow. Sick. It's close <laughs> to my birthday. Uh, okay. <clears throat> what is my favorite food? There are two answers I will accept. Pizza? Why are you looking at me? Because he already said an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Think long and hard about the kind of person I am. Think very long and hard about the kind of person that I am. I will give both of you another guess. <laughs> uh, mac and cheese. <laughs> You didn't think very long or hard. <laughs> Cause honestly, the I know a lot of I know I gotta leave from what soon. from what I know about you, I don't have a lot to go off of. I don't know. Burgers. No. Sushi. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Or and this is very specific because it's the way that my dad makes it. Chicken noodle soup with chopped up onions on top of mashed potatoes. Oh, that's pretty. That sounds lovely. It is delicious. Okay. Anyway, next question. Um, what is my dream job? YouTuber. Twitch streamer. <laughs> that used to be my dream job. Twitch streamer is now my dream job. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Dang it! I do not want to do YouTube anymore for the pure fact that. It's a lot of work, man. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, with just streaming, you just... Because with, with streaming, right, playing. I can just do it whenever I want. With you, with YouTube, I have to, like, plan it, and also I feel weird talking to a camera when I know nobody's behind it. That's why you don't do a camera. You just pull up a mic. Excuse me. Well, I like doing Twitch because it's live, so I'm like... So either... My, I, even if nobody's watching, I still feel like I'm talking to somebody. Um, okay. What is my favorite restaurant... My favorite. Not McDonald's. Correct. It is not McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> That's a point for Lily. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think. Think about if my favorite. What's my favorite food? Now think about where sushi Thai. <laughs> um. Fuji. It's over by where the Fuji is very delicious. I do really like that place, but it is not my favorite restaurant of all time. Is Blue Hashi, which is. It is sushi time is disgusting. <laughs> I was still close towards the. You theme. were, you were. Blue, uh, Blue Hashi, uh, because isn't it a, a new sushi restaurant? In no, it's been around for forever in oh. Idaho Falls. Uh, in it's the only one. Blue Hashi. There's only one Blue Hashi in the entirety of uh, the world. I've looked. 
Uh, and it is where we live. And it is the greatest place I've ever eaten. And it's really? Amazing. Yes. I love it. Huh. Um, okay. Next question. How many siblings do I have? I keep looking at your family picture, so it's right there in my head. And I need to count. Hold on. <laughs> do I need to count, like, uh, brother and sister-in-laws? Uh, I am counting sister-in-laws, but I'm not counting myself. Okay. Not that counting means... me, but am counting uh, married into the family. Seven. The two extra being in the uh, married into the family. Hold on, let me dissociate for a bit. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I remembered something about about you specifically and about your family, but I can't say it because I don't want to give her hints. I know what your position is in the family. I'll say that. Quickly. Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who can't see, she's got her hands up like how Doctor Strange does this magic. <laughs> she's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> how many timelines do you see, Doctor Strange? Ten. 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 That's my answer. Your answer is ten? Yes. It is six. I have <laughs> five nor five blood siblings, one sister in law. Oh, so I was close. You were, very. Which I'm actually going to give to you because you're closer, so I'm going to give it to you. Mm-hmm. Good job. It's three. So now we're at three and four uh, for your points. Logan is three. Lily has four. How many do we go to? Uh, we're going to say... Oh, I got six minutes. Yeah, I know. Uh, what podcast? What is the name of the podcast that I am obsessed with listening to right now? If either of you get this, I'll give you two points. <laughs> I'll give you... A, it is a and d podcast. Oh, I, it's, it's not... I know for a fact it's not Critical Role. I have been talking about it a lot recently. <laughs> ah, I don't... I don't remember what the name of it is, but I know what it is. Uh, whoever gets this one right will win. For one point, can I tell you what it is... Um, from something that you've told me specifically that you love about it. It's from, you said this quote yourself. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit sure. here. Sure, no, sure. Go ahead. It's, it's from, it's... Scary uh, bedtime stories. That's my answer because I don't know what come, you're talking about. It comes from, um, the podcast that a wizard, it was a, it was a wizard specifically who goes, Abraka, fuck you. <laughs> Abraka, fuck you. <laughs> That's what it was. I don't remember that. That is one noticed. of the quotes from the show. I will give you one point for that, which means we need a tiebreaker. Uh, the show is called The Adventure Zone. I knew it had something to do with adventure, but I was like, I'm going to play the safe route. For the tiebreaker question, it's going to be very specific. <laughs> I, was, I really hope it's not what I'm thinking. No. <sighs> what? <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> that what is the question. am I afraid of most? What is my greatest fear? Um, question, is it a physical thing or um, emotional thing? I will not say. Abandonment. Okay. Um, <laughs> being left. It's not necessarily <laughs> the same thing. Well, since Lily said it first, yeah, I, was, I should have said it you first. You win. What? Yeah. You win. That yeah. was a total guess. Oh, no, you win. <laughs> no, that is his biggest fear. Okay, we have, uh, you have four minutes. We have like two more questions. We're gonna just speed through them. Okay. 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 First question: Why is it called a unicorn and not a unihorn? Uh, I mean, it has one horn, so surely unihorn makes more sense, right? Because that way, it's not horny. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, no, simply because, um, no. <laughs> it, I believe it, I believe it has some sort of Latin meaning, corn is close to Capricorn, no, it's uh, a Greek, it's a Greek thing, because Capricorns were made, the, all those zodiac signs are based on Greek, and this is why I love, love things. this is why I love the podcast, our, our nerds, based based on, <laughs> are because based on Greek normally, things. in a regular so podcast, will, they get this question, they say, I don't know, but the fact that everybody here just knows random crap great okay <clears throat> second uh, last question of the day if your mother or father was your teacher in school would you call them mr or mrs or mom and dad uh 
out of pure trauma, Mr. or Mrs. I would ne- I would neither. say mom, or I would say mom or dad because uh, I would want to just um, to confuse everybody. If it were... neither, I'd call my mother Commander Shepard and my father Ishnu a law guy. My father <laughs> Ishnu a law guy because he plays Warcraft, and my mother Commander Shepard because okay, Mass Effect is. I already my call my games. regular teachers mom sometimes. <laughs> if it were my dad, I would call him dad, or I would just call him Mister Redhead that helped my mom give life to me. Fair enough. Or if it were my mom, I would just say Mrs. because yeah. of pure trauma. Dad, mm. Dad, Mister Ishnu a law guy, Mom Commander Shepard. Uh, I would call them mom, even if it were my dad. I would say mom on accident. <laughs> <laughs> I called a male teacher mom one time. Oh, it was sick. Mr. Brown. <laughs> uh, Mr. I'm, sure, Brown. I'm okay. sure he enjoyed that. Thank you for listening to this episode of Nerds, Weirdos, and Geeks. It has been fun. It this has is, been fun. This is the 10th episode, by the way. So oh, nice. Landmark. Special, kind of... special double digits. <laughs> uh, this is the 10th episode. Thank you for... Uh, big thanks to Logan and Lily for joining me today. Uh, and big thanks to you for listening uh, through the whole way. I doubt that you did, but if you did, hi, Samuel. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're the only person that will. <laughs> but if, you, if you're somebody else and you did, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hi, uh, Sam. Help Noah get ready for the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh thank you for watching dear listener if you have any questions please put them in the comments we will get to them in the next episodes i can guarantee it uh thank you for listening and we'll see you next episode